that's what I, the beauty of being in, at this institution. We don't just sit around and, and read what's on page 33 and analyze that and talk about all the theories. We try to get you ready for the real world. Because let me tell you, the real world is real. It ain't what you see on social media. It ain't all this Twitter stuff. It ain't, it's real. And if you ain't ready, if you ain't ready for setbacks, failures, shortcomings, things that's going to blindside you, things, people that's going to be cutthroat, the real world, ain't nobody holding your hand. So when I'm talking about the, the, the time between what you learn here and what you learn in the classroom, there has to be a synthesis. Of, of your experience in the classroom and what you're learning theoretically and also the practice, the application aspect of it. Sometimes the job, the job market dictates what we do. Right? I want to do something. I aspire to do something. I aspire to be a crime investigator. But what if that's not my first job? Am I discouraged? Or do I take that first job and I learn from it? If the only position available is for you to be a field officer, does that discourage you? Do you say, man, all I have, I have a college degree. And I'm working a job that people don't even need a college degree to work. Right? And my pride is hurting me because I'm trying to be a crime scene investigator. I'm trying to move up in the ranks, and I'm making this $45,000 job? So, so how do you handle that? Let me share something with y'all. I graduated top of my class in three years. Three years, top of my class. Number one, actually, to be exact. College of Business. I thought I was a shoe in to get in law school. I wanted to be a lawyer. I thought I was a shoe in S Submitted my papers to Southern University. I thought they was going to show me love because I was a Southern graduate and I was top of the class. And you know what happened? I got rejected. And I, I applied to a, a third good marshal in Houston, Texas. Rejected. I applied to Thomas Cooley who had low standards to get in. Rejected. And I didn't have a backup plan. So here I am, top of the class, graduating. I'm done. I was 21. Didn't have a backup plan. And you know what I had to do? I had to work at a gas station. Two gas stations, to be exact, just to make ends meet. I was cleaning bathrooms. I, I, I was cleaning coffee pots, sweeping. Do you understand me? Top of my class. I could have said, no, I, I'm not going to do that. I got a degree. But nobody wasn't hiring. And I didn't apply myself. And I didn't do interns because I wanted to go to law school. So, so uh, am I going to let my pride affect me? Right? Because I got all these people working that don't even need high school diplomas around me. But I got to make ends meet because my mind is telling me I'm not going to, this is just a setback. Because I'm trying to get to what? To law school. Anything else? Anything else? How much I make a year? I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Oh. <coughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just try to keep it humble. Um, enough. 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 I I this may not have anything to do with the question you asked me. All right. But one thing you may learn, and I learned this actually from Judge King. Don't ever buy, don't ever let anybody know how well you're doing. And the reason why. It's because when people see how well you're doing, they don't want to help you. If people think you got it going on, come on, y'all know how people are. If people think you got it going on, they're not going to help you. See all this flashy stuff and look what I got, I got this and I got, I'm low key. 
Because I don't know if I need your help. I may come to you and I may need help with a case. I may need you to bring me some business. And you may tell me, oh, you good. You got two firms, one in New York, one in here in Louisiana. You got a house here, you got a house there, you drive this kind of car, you good. Nah, you don't need to know all that. Because you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what my payroll is. You don't know how many employees I'm paying. You don't know if I had to take a mortgage out to keep my business flowing. You don't know all that. All you know is what, I'm te what I may be telling you or what you seek. So you don't tell everybody all your business. You don't come in here and say, I'm making $250,000 or I'm making all this kind of stuff a year just to impress somebody. Right? They don't teach that. Right? We live in a day and age of every day it's about what I'm doing. I'm this. I'm that. I'm successful. I'm, but, but really and truly, no, you're not. <laughs> Stop trying. Stop posting this and posting that. How you going to send all these inspirational messages on Twitter and Facebook and you talking to me about, about how miserable your job is? Right? I'm talking about the real world. 